Hello everyone, this is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com and today I would like to introduce you to one of my favorite apps that I've recommended for several clients who are looking for a really easy to use and clean task manager and to-do list that's sort of an alternative to the one that comes now built in to the iPhone, the iPad, and the Mac. And the name of the app is called Clear. Now there are different versions of it for the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. However, if you buy multiple versions, they will synchronize together utilizing iCloud. The version of Clear for the iPhone, I believe, is 99 cents. The version for the iPad is 4.99, and the version for the Mac is 9.99. So here's basically how it works. There are three different levels that you have within this app, and it's all multi-touch gesture to navigate and add items. So let me show you how it works. Now, what you see on your screen right now is actually level two, which is my list. So within each of these lists, I have items that I have for future class topics for PC classes online, a grocery list, a bucket list, people who I would love to meet in my lifetime, all these, of course, I just created just for demonstration. And if you ever want to go back a list, so for example, let's say I'm on groceries, and you can get in by just tapping. If you ever want to go back in time, the way you navigate is you pinch with your fingers, putting one finger at the top, one at the bottom of your screen, and bring them together towards the middle. So I'm trying to do this with my microphone. There we go. So we go back. Now to go back to the first level, you're going to see all your different settings, the tips and tricks options, and a few other things. So let's go into these really briefly, starting with settings at the very bottom. So you can see the settings that I'm utilizing right now. I want it to sync with iCloud. That way I can start creating a list on my phone and pick up where I left off on my Mac. I don't use the app icon badge. What that means is that it'll have that little red number at the bottom of the app showing how many items I still have left to complete. This isn't really anything I use for critical things I have to do, so I don't really care about that. The sound effects are cute, so I decide to use those vibration settings I use, and edge swipes I've never really cared about, so I don't use those. So let's go back. Once again, we're going to pinch. And now we can go into themes here, OK? And in themes, what you'll find is that this is the way the lists look by standard. But if you don't like that color scheme, you can switch it by just simply changing any of these. So let's stick with heat map. Go back. And if you ever get lost and forget how to do something, they do have a really handy tips and tricks option right here. So let's go into my list at the very top, and let's go over how to use this. Now, anytime you want to create a new item, whether it's a new list or a new item within a list, all you have to do is pull down with your finger from top to bottom. Be sure not to go from the very top, or else you're going to, uh, you're going to start Notification Center, and you don't want to do that. So I just pull down, and I can create my new list. So let's say I want to create a list about music to check out. Okay, so now if I wanted to add items, I would just tap on that list, sorry, and then pull down with my finger to add an item to my list. So maybe I want to check out the Rolling Stones. I can never type correctly when I do these live classes. Okay, next one, let's say I want to go into a pre-existing list here that has a little bit more content. Let's go into the grocery list as an example. Now, as you're creating items, and grocery list is a great example of what you can use, you may sometimes want to clear out what you've already purchased, and sometimes you might want to just mark it as completed. So let me give you an example. With something like a grocery list, there are going to be items that you're going to constantly be going back to the grocery store and getting. So instead of having to just delete the item and then recreate it every single time you run out of milk, you can restore it. And I want to show you how to do that. So there are two different ways to clear items out. You can swipe from left to right or right to left, but there's a difference. When you swipe from left to right, you'll notice that it has a check mark up here and it's still listed here. Whereas if I swipe from right to left on cheese, it completely clears it out. And the reason why I recommend with this kind of a list not doing that option is that if I want to bring back milk Say a week goes by, oh, I need to go back and get more milk at the store. You can press with your finger on milk 
and move it back up and it comes right back to life. So it's really easy to restore items that you've already cleared out. Now, if you make a mistake, and let's say I accidentally do clear it out, okay, I deleted it. You can use the same option that you would use on your iPhone, let's say if you're in an email and you accidentally deleted all the text, you can actually shake your iPhone. So I'm gonna do that right now, you can't see it on your screen. And I get my undo list, so I can paste any tasks that I have copied to the clipboard. I can undo the item that I just deleted, that's what I'll be doing. Or I can actually email this whole list to myself or someone else. So let's just tap undo delete and milk comes right back to life. So it's a really handy app. It's very, very clean, very easy to use. Uh, you may want to just play with it at first to get, uh, just to get used to the different hand gestures with it. Let's get out of this and I'm going to show you how it works now on the Mac side. Now this is not going to sync with my iPhone because this is not my personal account. This is just my teaching account. And the multi-touch gestures are very similar on the Mac as they are on the, on the iPhone. There's a couple little differences though. So let me show you what those are. So if you're on a list and you want to add a new item, you don't actually even need to click. You just start typing. So say I need to get half and half. Okay, I just started typing and it adds it right to the list. And if this is using iCloud, boom, that is right now on my iPhone. If you want to complete the task, the one that I'm recommending for this kind of a thing, all you have to do is put your cursor on the item and right click. On a Mac, it's actually referred to as a secondary click. So laptop owners, you're going to click with two fingers present on your trackpad. Desktop owners, if you have a right click, you can use that. Otherwise, you can hold the control key on your keyboard and click and it'll do the same thing. You can see it brings it right down. If you want to restore it, I think it's pretty obvious, but all you do is just click and drag it back into your list. Okay. If you want to edit any of these items, let's say I misspell Reese's, I just click right into it and I get my cursor there and I can spell it correctly. And Reese's is one of those words I can never ever spell correctly. Now if you want to clear out, and you can probably figure it out because it just showed, if you want to clear out anything uh, that you've already done, you can either put your cursor on it and click, or let's say I complete that task, you can also on your trackpad swipe up and it'll clear everything out. Okay, so that's basically it. That is clear. It is again 99 cents to my knowledge on the iPhone. $4.99 on the iPad and $9.99 on the Mac. If you want it on the Mac, just get it through the App Store. So this is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. If you enjoyed this video and happen to be watching us on YouTube, A, please check out our website. We are a completely free service, open to the public, and have members in over 160 countries. Otherwise, if you're watching this on our site, thank you. And uh, leave us a little comment below the video and let us know if we're doing a good job. This is David A. Cox. You all have a wonderful day. Take care.